What's going on everybody? C4 here. Welcome back to the channel and today we are following up our first Madden 20 post 2020 NFL Draft Rebuild that we did a couple days ago with, for whatever reason, Jalen Hurts on the Philadelphia Eagles. There was two other ones that I want to do and today we're getting to one of those two and it was maybe much like the Jalen Hurts selection in the first round. I think to Green Bay Packer fans it was equally if not more surprising in the... 2020 draft they decided hey let's draft Jordan Love okay they decided let's draft Jordan Love at a Utah State I guess if you're talking about ceilings if you're talking about upside yeah you know I guess there's the big debate about this is exactly like the same age when they drafted Aaron Rodgers when they had Brett Favre there and it's, it's a forward thinking move and Brett Favre came on the media and said yes if I'm Green Bay, I would trade Aaron Rodgers. So for the sake of this rebuild, I'm not going to trade him right away, but I will put him on the trade block. I will see what is available for him. If we can flip him for a first-round pick, I will try to. I would say out of all the players that I remember, I would say Aaron Rodgers gets hit with regression the hardest. I remember, there's a point in time Aaron Rodgers will retire. He's like a 71 overall quarterback. So... I mean, it's a new era, and shout out to everybody over on the Flashback franchise, and I know the Madden mod community, this is a modded roster, they are working on getting the portraits in, so you will have Jordan Love there with an actual, like, his, it will be his face, and not the Madden face, those should be done sooner than later, but this is fully updated rosters, we got AJ Dillon, I mean, we're looking at new players here, all the contracts up, we got Rick Wagner, um, John Runyon's there, Josiah DeGuara, I mean, can we address how bad the Green Bay Packers draft was? They desperately needed to go out and get players that could help Aaron Rodgers, or I guess that was going to help Jordan Love. And they end up drafting a backup quarterback, running back. That's clearly the third option here. You got a third string tight end, H back. I don't know what you want to call it, right? You got John running as a depth guy in free agency, Rick Wagner. Is your big get, I guess, on the offensive side of things. You flip to the defense. This is a defense that was drastically improved with the Smiths brothers. Even though they're not related. You got Preston Smith, Zadarius Smith. Uh, inside, they brought Christian Kirksey over from the Cleveland Browns. If he could stay healthy, which is a big if. He's a solid linebacker, but there's still definitely a, a need to improve. The safety core is good. Darnell Savage, Adrian Amos. You got Jair Alexander, who's one of the best young corners in the league. King and, and J.C. Jackson here. I don't actually think I've ever done a Green Bay Packer. I think the Packers and the Giants. Maybe even the Dolphins. I, I feel like there's two or three teams that we haven't rebuilt yet. Because uh, I don't really remember playing. Like I have no idea how well all these guys play. How hard it is to retain all these guys here in the Green Bay Packers. But we haven't done the proper introduction. If you haven't guessed it yet, we're going to be doing a five-year rebuild here with the Green Bay Packers. Ultimately, with Jordan Love as our quarterback. So, yeah, we're going to see if we can get some value for Aaron Rodgers. We better be able to get a first-round pick. We, if, if not, I might manually trade and see if we can find the best available. I think in real life, obviously, you're probably going to have Jordan Love sit and try to develop behind Aaron Rodgers for at least a season. But the biggest thing when you draft the quarterback in the first round, you, you want to, you know, he wants to play sooner than later. You know, you might want to think it's that time, that era when you did draft Aaron Rodgers behind Brett Favre, and it, and it was expected that rookie quarterbacks did not play. You know what I'm saying? You, you could have Aaron Rodgers sit for two, three years, and it wouldn't raise any red flags. It wouldn't raise any eyebrows. That was just how it's done. But in today's NFL, it's, it's uh, you know, you get to maximize that rookie contract for your quarterback. And they did, you know, you luckily they do have the fifth-year option because they did select him in the first round. But I'm thinking ultimately we got to try to move Aaron Rodgers for the sake of this rebuild. We really want to see what levels that Jordan Love can take it. We saw Aaron Rodgers pretty much peak out as a Super Bowl. I think Aaron Rodgers, from a skill standpoint, might be the most talented quarterback of all time. And I also think he might be the biggest underachieving quarterback of all time. Through maybe him, through maybe poor ownership, poor coaching. But I just feel like for how good Aaron Rodgers is, the fact that this guy only has one Super Bowl with some of the offenses he has had, it's, uh, you know, he's definitely under two. He should probably have two, three Super Bowls, and he only has one. And if that's a failure of an organization, if that's a failure of a coaching staff, you know, Mike McCarthy now, thank God Dallas hired him because he's definitely going to be phenomenal for Dak Prescott. Or if it's a failure of Aaron Rodgers, 
We now have a pace car that we need to try to super exceed here with the new franchise, Jordan Love. Could you imagine if the Packers officially put Aaron Rodgers up for trade and these are the, the, the we got no first round, Shamar Stefan in a fifth, Sean Dion Hamilton and P.J. Hall in a sixth. That is just absolutely disgusting. We were able to find an appropriate trade partner here for Aaron Rodgers, and it's the inverse Peyton Manning. You know, the Colts get, they, you know, you lost Peyton Manning right at the end of their career, and they're going to get a player really, really talented at the end of his career. We are sending Aaron Rodgers a third and a sixth round pick to the Indianapolis Colts for their first round selection in the 2021 draft, which for the sake of this rebuild, we'll just be using Madden generated classes and Paris Campbell. We finally get a wide receiver that can come in and help out Jordan Love and maybe develop into that wide receiver to compliment for Devontae Adams. Coming up from our bye week here, two and four. You know, there's going to be a adjustment period for life beyond Aaron Rodgers. And we're going to need at least, you know, a draft, an offseason or two to build this team up properly around Jordan Love. And, you know, not ignore the skill positions like they have been. Uh, but, we're, you know, we, we got to make sure we set the framework to keep our big players in. So, yeah, let's start here. We got David Bakhtiari, debatably the best left tackle in the National Football League. He can chug a beer like a bitch. We got Kenny Clark. I'm going to give him a five-year deal. One of the best nose tackles in the NFL. I like Aaron Jones. Everyone knows I have a personal relationship with Aaron Jones. We're, I would like to think we're, almost in, we're best friends in a certain way. So I definitely want Aaron Jones to be my running back here. Um, outside of that, we don't want to get foolish with our money. Kevin King, that's actually not a great contract, but can he still grow and develop? Maybe. The, the core of Kevin King, Jair Alexander, and J.C. Jackson, I, I don't necessarily want to get rid of that just yet. Funches, from a Madden standpoint, is not brutal. 80, he's only 26, but he's not the style of wide receiver. <sighs> if he takes this deal, we'll keep him. If not, there we go. Okay, cool. We'll make sure we can get a new deal for Aaron Jones, and we'll probably come back to the table at least one more time with Kevin King. And uh, hopefully sooner or later we get some of that Aaron Rodgers money out the books. And we can go buck wild in free agency. So this might be a first. I got a simmed defensive X-Factor. Kenny Clark got himself a superstar X-Factor after a week 17, 24 to 18 victory. Let's see what we got here. Obviously, congratulations to him. Uh, that's a first. I've never got that. Better late than never. That we eventually get to get a run stuffer, which makes sense for him. We got a lot of upgrades here. First up, we'll obviously the only one we'll highlight will be Jordan Love. We're working on him as a frame. He's up to a 74 overall. His dev trait was a star dev. Um, you know, he's coming along. He is definitely coming along. Outside of that, uh, we did not make the playoffs. 8-8 eight eight, though. I think 8-8 eight eight post Aaron Rodgers. Is it's not that bad of a record. I think generally speaking, we're we're okay with where we're at, and definitely gonna want to buy the wide receiver training boost to get this wide receiver core where they need to go. But year one, I mean, we weren't expecting a whole lot there, and definitely a little bit surprising. The Detroit Lions winning the NFC North with a 12 and four record. Look at how we played statistically. Not bad for Jordan Love. I mean, Green Bay is not at the levels of the Saints or the, the Bears this year for OP Sim offense, but they're always really, really good. And I think 3,600 yards, 30 touchdowns to nine picks, 65% completion percentage for Jordan Love. If he was actually able to do that in real life, if there was some weird alternate universe where he would start as a rookie, I think Green Bay Packers fans would be like, oh, maybe this isn't the worst decision that they've ever made. Uh, Aaron Jones, 1,100 yards, 9 touchdowns. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, just under 1,000 yards, 6 tutties for Devontae Adams. We got 5 and 10 from Harris Campbell. So looking like a nice valuable piece that we added to the wide receiver core in that Aaron Rodgers trade. Uh, defensively, Kirksey led the team, 113 tackles, 13 TFLs, 3 sacks. 10.5 sacks, Preston Smith, 9.5 Smith, 9.5 Kenny Clark, 6.5 Oren Burr. I mean, we got after it. We definitely got after it. I tried to give Rashawn Gary a lot more snaps. He did okay against the run. Uh, four picks, Jair Alexander, beast. Quick look at the wards. Josh Allen, weirdly enough, was your MVP. I'm not seeing 
Let's go. Let's just see. Did did he do anything of note? Hey, he's number seven, and our quarterback is. Uh, well, he didn't make it, but you know what? We like him. We like him. That's about all I could say. Look at that. The Rams. The new logo using this mod. That's pretty cool. Uh, offensive rookie of the year went to Jordan Love. B no C D Lamb. Defensive rookie of the year went to Chase Young. We had unfortunately nobody. Quarterback. Jordan Love, number 10 for the rest of the individual awards. Not a lot outside of Jair Alexander becoming the best DB, but he already has a superstar X Factor, so I'm not going to worry about it. But hey, you know, solid year from Jordan Love. Good start. We got a sneaky just X Factor upgrade week 17 for Kenny Clark. All right, we can build upon this as we get ready for year two of the Jordan Love Green Bay Packers rebuild. So for our first free agency, we're definitely feeling the brunt of that Aaron Rodgers dead money as we only have $2 million in cap. I think we have 32 in dead money, which is annoying because how amazing would just be instantly adding Juju Smith-Schuster to this wide receiver core help this team? Or an A.J. Green. Uh, except we have to sit out here on the sidelines. I mean, hey, we're, we're going in a reality where... We're in an alternate reality and trading Aaron Rodgers, and I, I don't want to just clear salary cap. And you know, we got to feel the brunt of that. We got to feel the brunt of drafting a Jordan Love, and then the fallout of having to move in Aaron Rodgers, and that is going to be unable to sign a big playmaker like a Juju Smith-Schuster, who would be a perfect fit and get for this offense. Brutal. So we wanted to try to help out skill position wise, but ultimately we had to kind of help out the offense here. Uh, the draft board was not favorable to the skill position players, but we got some nice players from an overall standpoint. We didn't get lucky with any devs. We got Andy Taylor, 78 normal dev tackle, who's probably going to be a day one starter at right tackle for us, um, over Rick Wagner, younger, cheaper option, but no dev trade. But he was the number two player in the draft, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we had another first round pick as part of the Aaron Rodgers trade. We got Duncan Hackney, 76 normal dev uh, from UCLA. Probably going to slide him into one of the guard spots. I just try to go BPA on the offensive line. There was a couple other guards, too, that were straight guards that might have been a little bit better. Uh, you might have got a dev trait for one of them. I don't think. I will double-check that in just a sec, actually, because that's annoying. Uh, we got a 73 normal tight end. Again, you know, it, it just wasn't a great draft board. But I want to question the two guards that went after my pick here at 15 and 16. Did any of them go in the first round? Yeah, Tracy Lawson was one. He's a normal dev, all right. So I, I just more so want to make sure we didn't get burned on dev traits. And that was the other one. He's got to have a dev. Emmanuel Bowden from Auburn. Just be star. Don't be superstar. Okay, it's just a star. It's still a big loss. It would have been better getting him, but we're not too far off. It wasn't like, you know, those previous rebuilds. What was it, the Detroit Lions rebuild we did? Speaking of the NFC North where we... Straight up passed on two Superstar X-Factor quarterbacks in one rebuild. I'll never forget that. But it was a solid draft and gone a long way to just adding some stability to the offensive line. Just really wish there was a game changer on offense or defense that we could have brought in. Year two of the Jordan Love era. We somehow have... I hate the computer, man. The computer just somehow signed... I have it turned off, too. They just... I guess it's roster requirements. They always sign... Dumb free agents and like 13 wide receivers to be in my practice squad, which is impossible. But here's where our team is at for year two of the Jordan Love era. Uh, offensively, you know, we're still rocking Funches, Adams, Vadless, Scantling, and Paris Campbell. Jones looking nice, though. He's going to be a 90-some plus running back, so that's going to be nice. Jordan Love is coming along. Offensive line, still a little weak at center. We're going with Jake Hansen, who I think was like a six-round pick uh, in the 2020 draft. But Hackney and Taylor... We'll hold down that right side. So really, we're a center away from having a really good offensive line. Because obviously, Eldon Jenkins, what, he's 25. Star Dev, he's only going to get better. Sternberger and Leak will be our tight ends. Defensively, we got Rashawn Gary looking to make a big change this season. And live up to that first-round billing. Kenny Clark is a new X-Factor, as we saw at the tail end of last year. I'm hoping the corner group can continue to develop. I think, uh, I don't know, did he get a Dev trait boost last year? Was Dev, was he always... He might have been. I, I didn't think he was a star. All right, yeah. So let's keep going with the secondary. King, Jackson, Jair with Savage and Amos. Linebacker, course, solid. But like maybe a dev trade here. I was surprised Kirksey, given the reduction he had last season, didn't go up in a dev trade. 
But it's still a solid team, man. Definitely, we're 8-8 eight eight last year. I could totally see us 9-10 wins. Really early bye here in year two. They were 2-1, two and one, so it's, it's going to be tough to really, you know, are we going to be good? Are we going to be bad this year? Uh, so, you know, let's just, fingers crossed. But contracts, we've got an early negotiation period here. Starting off with Devontae Adams. Absolutely want to keep him here. Of course, he's going to try to bend us over. Uh, punter. Punters are people, too. Let's get J.K. Scott here for the remainder of the rebuild. J.C. Ja or Josh Jackson. No relation to J.C. Uh, that's a really reasonable deal for how much upside I still think he can offer to the squad. Uh, other than that, probably going to let all these guys go. Going to need a middle linebacker for sure entering this offseason. But we'll come back for Devontae Adams. He is priority number one. Mr. Trapisky, piss off. Year two, we follow up in 8-8 eight eight with 8-8. Eight. And eight would have what? Seven and nine. Ah. Seven and nine. Uh, Jordan Love was not good. 28th in yards, 31st in touchdowns. How's all Aaron Rodgers doing? Well, better. He's doing he's not doing it's not like he's thriving, but he's doing better. A uh, thousand yards, eight touchdowns, Aaron Jones. Devontae adds eleven hundred and seven. Defensively, Kirksey, a lot of tackles. 13 sacks. Kenny, Kenny Kirk's a beast. Ten and a half for Sean Gary. Finally a breakout year. So the defense has been playing well. I gotta figure I gotta run this. This is great 3-4. I didn't even change it. Sometimes, you know, we run it through the storm. What is going on? Is it just straight up default? Base 3-4, Matt LaFleur defense. Okay. It gets the job done in the sim. Make note of that. Future. 3-4-C-4 rebuild. Say that 10 times fast. Josh Allen's back-to-back -back MVPs. Okay. Off of player of the year, Mr. Ezekiel Elliott. Defensive player of the year went to Khalil Mack. Kirksey coming in at 9. Offensive rookie of the year. Defensive rookie of the year. QB, Kyler Murray. Okay. Just a nothing season. Just a nothing season. I have a little bit of money for free agency here. Um, more so, you know, we're talking about skill position. There's not a whole lot there at wide receiver. There's guys that are, you know, around Devin Funches level. Not real premier upgrades. But on the defense, we needed a middle linebacker. And I was looking there, I was like, oh, that's phenomenal. But Leighton Van Der Esch is there. He's essentially will be a middle linebacker in our scheme. So we're coming in. Big offer over the second place New York Giants to get Leighton Van Der Esch to be the center of this Packer defense. My draft all this year, outside of still not being able to land that wide receiver, it was better. Uh, 68 tackle in the fifth, 65 wide out, 71 corner in the third, normal dev. We get a 72. He's going to probably be a D end in our scheme, but could probably play all three spots. Delonte Blackley out of Rutgers. And our big pick to pair with Van Der Esch, our linebacking core, like they did in Double Dipped in 2019, where they got Preston Smith and Zadarius Smith securing that outside. We got the inside, signing Leighton Van Der Esch in free agency, and at pick 12, Kyle Anthony from Alabama, 76, hidden dev trait. This guy's an absolute beast. With him and Van Der Esch, I think they're going to take our defense over the top, and hopefully Jordan Love can keep things churning on offense until we can bring in a game-changer at wide receiver to pair with Devontae Adams. Year three, you know, the overall speaks for itself. We're at 85. Disappointing that Jones didn't go up one single point last season. Uh, Jordan Love, 78 overall. Still no help at a wide receiver. Sternberger's emerging as a really solid tight end, that's for sure. Offensive line outside of center is one of the best in the NFC. Defensively, we went all in to fix the linebacking core. Van Der Esch and Anthony will anchor and just control and dominate the field as what makes probably the best linebacking core in the National Football League. Our secondary is also... Really, really solid. Uh, Rashawn Gary hopefully can have another breakout year and get himself a new contract. And we have the best defensive tackle in the NFL. That's at least a nose tackle. You know, he's probably not Aaron Donald, Fletcher Cox territory. But he's right on the outside looking to get in. So year three, can we finally get a playoff berth? All or nothing on Jordan Love. Because if he doesn't make the playoffs this year, I'm going to start looking to potentially get a replacement in the draft at QB. Or at least a backup to push his ass. By week year three, two and two, uh, not a great record. Bad, that's some bad news. Good news is NFC North looks like it's going to be pretty bad, and we're right in the hunt still. 
contracts. It's still a little bit early, but I know generally the direction that I want to take things. First up, you know, we did pay top tier money for Leighton Van Der Esch. That better not come back to bite us in the ass because we're also going to give another premium contract to Jair Alexander. I think when you're looking at the rest of these positions, we can't give up on Rashawn Gary. He's still, you know, given the age, you're going to want to give him a contract. I think we're probably going to want, I mean, maybe Sternberger, but that might be we're at the cut of corner because we do have Leak, the tight end that we drafted. That's just, you know, not as great a receiver, not a scheme fit, but he's, he's solid. Uh, Elton Jenkins for sure can get himself a new contract, give him a four-year deal. Uh... Hmm. Safeties are replaceable. I'll, I'll get Zedarius Smith. I, we can't... I don't think we're going to be able to replace both Smith brothers. Uh, but we can replace one. So we'll, we'll go a little bit cheap there. Press the Smith. And then we can look at maybe even moving Rashawn Gary back to outside linebacker now that there's a free spot there. He's definitely athletic enough. Might actually go up a rating. Um, Amos. That's a tough one. That's a lot of money for a guy that you know is going to regress pretty hard. And there's always two, three safeties in that first round that are pretty damn good looking. So yeah. Um, maybe we do have enough money to bring back Sternberger, so we'll look at that. Everything to play for here in year three, week 17, we fall 31-28 to the Buffalo Bills. Probably still would have been on the outside looking in, but we would have at least been 8-8 eight and eight and thrown our hat in the mix to find a way to get out of this division and make the playoffs. But here we are, three years in, three not awful records, three not great records. We're, we're around 500 every single season. Maybe we can get a wide receiver, make four and five special. I don't know. Uh, Love played definitely better this season. 3,700 yards, 28 touchdowns, 16 picks. Still not Aaron Rodgers. You know, 1,200 yards, 14 touchdowns for Aaron Jones. Like seeing that. 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns for Adams. Definitely need to get someone else. We got Sternberger locked on an extension. That's actually pretty good for a tight end. 66 over 600 yards and eight touchdowns. We just need, like, another guy that can push for 1,000 yards. And we're letting Paris Campbell hit free agency, so I mean, we have some money. Uh, Van Der Esch, insane season. Finally, a high-profile free agent in a rebuild pays uh, immediate dividends. 122 tackles, 7 TFLs, 5 sacks, 7 picks for Van Der Esch. Probably from those numbers, got himself an X-Factor, which is exactly what we need. Kenny Clark, 10 sacks as he now is a new member of the 99 club. 7.5 Preston Smith. Um, yeah, man. Leighton Van Der Esch, unreal. Uh, Reese is your MVP. We're getting some Randys here. At least it's not Josh Allen. Leighton Van Der Esch, Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, individual awards. Hey, I, I don't hate that. I don't hate that one bit. Jalen Rager, best wide receiver in the league. Van Der Esch, top linebacker. Okay. Come on. Let's have a strong year four and five, for God's sakes. Give me something positive here on this beautiful Saturday. So not only was I disappointed with no X-Factor dev trait for Van Der Esch, still stuck at Superstar, there's nothing at wide receiver, man. Nothing. That's an upgrade. We have an 80. That's middle of the park. There's a bunch of middle of the park 80s. We've already tried to kill Harry. I can't remember what rebuild it was. Might have been the Lions one. Keep referencing that. And he wasn't good. Green's old. Kuti here. Maybe. That's that's a straw. That's, you know, it's... Not that much better than what we had in, uh, this is just brutal, man. There's nothing. We need a game changer. At Wari, we have this money, and there's just no one worth spending on. Um, what's this guy at? He's 75. I mean, we probably could look at, again, I don't want to go on the defense. We've already spent too much money on the defense side. I guess we could use a defense, but the, 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 you could draft those guys. They grow on trees. You know, moving D tackles. There's always like seven first round great D tackles that I can play at any spot on my on my defensive line. So um, uh, we'll sign Abram, maybe four year deal. Will you take that? Not even. I don't know. Whatever, man. Oh, there's finally wide receivers. We got a Mari Edwards, mid first rounder, 6'6, 230, 4 5 speed. We got Malcolm Booth, mid first rounder. And we got Ricardo Ray, mid first rounder. Um, Jesus. It's gotta be this guy, right? 
76 normal. There we go. I'm Marianne. We're, you know, we'll go with the freak. 76 hidden dev. Gigantic. He's a tight end. Pretty much. Good God. Good God. Simmed our way out after the draft, after a couple picks. I wanted a safety and a D lineman. They just were, it was bad. So uh, we bounced. Last couple picks weren't. Unless there's a dev trade in there. Oh, there is. Nice. Eugene Bynes. Not great, but has a dev trade. I'll take that. But as far as our selections, we got Bart Nichols, defensive end here. Hidden dev. Nice. And a scheme fit. Okay. The computer got me two devs. I've never seen that. Our picks. We got Rashad Burton, 74 normal out of Florida. We got our, our insurance policy and Todd Schrader from Stanford, 76. Hidden dev. Again, prototypical. Like, this is what we're looking for in a QB. 6'4", 230. Pretty much built like Jordan Love. And then we got, obviously, the monster. But I do want to compare him because this wide receiver class was unreal. Like, I looked at the big board. There's like four first-round grades. So we got a 76 hidden dev. I guess just to kind of see where we're at. DJ Ray, I was thinking about trading up for him. If I was trading up, it was going to be for this guy. And I was willing to give two first-rounders. He's a superstar. You already know our guy's going to probably be a goddamn star. For... We got Lindsey Sanford, 77 hidden dev. He is a superstar X-Factor. I wasn't going to trade up for him, so, uh, you know, no real regrets there. We didn't even have a chance to pick him, but we took Edwards. After that here, Malcolm Booth, 75 hidden dev. This guy here, superstar. What are the odds? We got the one guy that's going to have the star dev. Huh? I think that was it for like the big... Oh, and Ricardo Ray. That's another one. 75 hidden dev. Please be star. Okay, it's a star. So, I mean, he's the second rounder there. So, what are the odds we got the only first round wide receiver, even though he's beastly, that doesn't have a superstar dev? It's probably fairly high. But let's go in here. Year four, be fully optimistic. We got a weapon for Jordan Love. We picked up his fifth year option. Let's get it done. Year four for Jordan Love and his Green Bay Packers. 85 across the board. We've been middling as a 500 team. Hopefully, to pair with Jones and Devontae Adams, Edwards is everything we expected him to be. And not a star dev wide receiver. The worst out of all the wide receiver prospects. We had an opportunity or potential opportunity to draft. Uh, offensive line still really solid. Defense, not a lot of change. We have Nichols, the nice little stud that Madden found for us. We're actually going to give him the, the stop over Blakely. Give him the start and just see if we can utilize that dev trade. It could be something nice. Um... Yeah, I mean, technically, we probably should um, we probably should do this. We probably should make Rashawn Gary move him back to right outside linebacker, which is where he's probably more natural. Probably will feel more comfortable being off the ball like that, standing up like that off the edge, you know, looking at it. And then we'll take Blakely, and rather just being utilized as depth behind. Our uh, our monster knows Kenny Clark. We'll get him on the field as a defensive end. So we'll do. This is probably the best reshuffle you can do. Get our best potential starters out there. And uh, Anthony came out dev trait. We he was our hidden dev linebacker star because of course, and we didn't get one for Van Der Esch, which was shocking. But Darnell Savage went up dev trait. That's pretty cool. 84 superstar. If you followed me during that draft process, you know Darnell Savage was one of my guys when he was being considered a third round prospect. I was like, this guy's a stud. And he went in the first round. I was so pumped to see that. Uh, and he's, he's paying dividends. I love him. I love him to take off and get up in X Factor, get him to the 90s before this rebuild's all said and done. But for here in year four, let me see something out of Jordan Love, man. If not, we got Schrader. He's ready. He's ready. So hopefully it lights a fire under Jordan Love's ass. Ready for the bye. We actually had a losing effort against Minnesota. Rashawn Gary went up a dev trade, which is pretty good. 20,000 XP. Also pretty solid here. We'll just sim here to the next bye week. God, when we're going to be playing offline, so the sim times are twice as long. We have a breakout scenario here for Nichols. Okay. Cool. Cool. I don't know if the dev trade has been unlocked for a wide receiver. It's probably a star. Oh, he's getting close. He is getting close, and I've been trying to make him a route runner. I've spent two points already. He hasn't gone up and overall, so it's about time to just eat our losses here and just make him a physical and not worry about trying to make him into a route runner. 
He probably in a game or two will be able to figure out what his dev trait is gonna be. Ah, I'm gonna be so mad if it's not. I'm gonna be so mad that it's not a superstar at least. And we got I'll spend all these points here in just a sec. Here this contract time, and we got Darnell Savage right out the rip. We know we want him here. Two year deal? No, I'm gonna give you a, a five year deal because and only three million dollar cap it because safety contracts are pretty bad. And that's it. That's the only guy I want back on this team. This rookie class that's gone down is maybe the worst rookie class on paper with A.J. Dillon, Jake Hansen, John Running, Dugwire drafting a fullback, for God's sakes, in the third round. We're going to let him walk. We're going to pay Savage, and everyone else can walk. Took me forever to just keep simming. He better be here. Uh, Edwards. Find out what his dev trade is. We'll go physical, like I said. I'm going to commit to just making him a physical wide receiver, not going to get the route running ability. And here we go. We're going to see it in 5, 4, 3, 2, Star Dev. It's going to be a... Hey, let's go. Superstar. Finally something positive. He is a superstar monster. We haven't been able to get him to get any speed. That would be nice if we can get a little bit more speed. Because we're probably going to hop in here in year 5. And try to help this team get over the hump. Because they have been awful this year. We're not done the season yet. But we're very much not good. We finished year four uh, with a seven and nine record. It's exactly it's we are what we are, you know. Thank God I have coach firing off, or we would have been fired a long time ago. But you reap what you sow, Green Bay. That's kind of the point. They had a terrible draft. We're doing a rebuild off of their terrible draft, and they haven't done sh nearly squat in four years. But there is still a fifth season that we could see if we could change it around. Jordan Love six in yards. Okay. It's not a brutal year, not a great year. It's just Schrader's dev trade out here. He's only a star. I'm not, I don't know. Probably just gonna, probably just gotta keep it Jordan Love. Uh, Aaron Jones has been okay. Devontae Adams has been solid. 800 yards, six touchdowns for Edwards. Sternberger, yeah, sure. It's, you know, it's coming. Too little, too late probably for the wide receivers. Van Der Esch, dominant. Kenny Clark's been a monster. Josh Jackson, three picks for the yearly awards. I'm probably not expecting... A whole lot to be kind of coming our way here. Kyler Murray, Shaq Thompson. All right. Nothing for us. And deservedly so. We are average, and average does not get rewarded. Unless you bang average and make the playoffs in a Madden Sim, then average is usually actually preferred. So we got your five super robust scenario here for Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers. For our final free agency opportunity Ebenezer look real good on the defense but we've been spending all of our money on defensive free agents and it's got us nowhere so we had to pick and choose between I mean really I can't can we get can we maybe squeeze Sheldon Rankins on Let's see if I can give him an offer here let he can out of his okay we might be able to squeeze him in and we can move him to one of the defensive end spots but ultimately we need wide receivers Julio Jones is here why not? One year flyer. Julio Adams, who's now a superstar X Factor. Edwards, who's a superstar. There you go. That's my all in. If I can land these two guys, that's our all in. Come on. Yeah, we got one. But welcome, Julio Jones, to the Green Bay Packers. Here we go. Finishing up our final draft for the Love Packers rebuild. Just kind of going BPA, get the one guy that could start in our second year. We had a bunch of safeties. It was a good year to need a safety, but I think Randall Marsh might have a chance to start a strong safety. 75 hitting down, number eight in true talent in the draft at a Louisville, 6'3", 206. Not the greatest, I mean, 85 speed, not straight line speed, but he's a big time hitter. Might even be, if it was a long-term project, move, consider moving him into linebacker a little bit with that pursuit, tackle, and hit power. But very much a box safety and should start at strong for this, hopefully, Year 5, Super Bowl winning Green Bay Packers squad. All or nothing time. Here is our, our, you know, show your work. You know, when you do a math test in high school, you always say show your work so you know you're not cheating. And here's us showing our work. This is what we've been able to do and rebuild post Aaron Rodgers here for Green Bay. This is it. We got, we got Jordan Love, who's an 83 now, and he's been... Above average, I would say. Throw this so far in his career through four years, entering his fifth year. Jones has been solid. We got Devontae Adams, Julio Jones, and Edwards making up. Finally, it took us this long, but we now have a legit wide receiver core. Adams, too, entering year five, just getting that X factor. Offensive line, average overall is probably you know 80, 81. Really solid. No weaknesses. Sternberger, solid tight end. He's been, he's been consistent for us, too. He's good five, 600 yards, six, seven touchdowns every season. 
Defensively, the front three, we got Blakely, 99, Kenny Clark, and Nichols. It's solid. The secondary, we got Jair Alexander, J uh, Josh Jackson, the corners. You know, that's okay. Uh, with Sav Generally, I would say if you're, if you're comparing and, and pairing the corners and safeties, we have an above-average secondary with a premier island shutdown corner in Jair Alexander. Linebacking core, really, really good with Gary, Zedarius Smith, and inside Anthony and Van Der Esch. So, I think it's a solid team. This is definitely a team that should push for the playoffs, and hopefully we do better than 8-8. Eight and eight. We essentially sim to midseason here. We're going to be 5-3. Five and five and three. I don't know. We're 1-8. and eight. We're 1-8. and eight. Um, Do we play the Bears at any point? Down the stretch, just to hop in and get a game, you know. Take on their biggest rival remaining. We got the Bears week, so we'll just sim to that one and play that. This is awful. Hey, Green Bay, you screwed the pooch with your draft. It sucks in Madden. That's what we figured out. How are we this bad? 2-12 and 12 or 87 overall. What's going on here? Jordan, I mean, he's not even playing bad. He's on pace to have one of his best years. And we're spending all of that money on the defense. Like, what are we ranking here? We're the 30th offense. And the 20s. Just, it's just not good, man. But we'll, we, don't, we want to hop in and see a little bit of Jordan Love in the green and Yellow, so let's let's see if we can at least hop in and, and get some get some points on offense and get our third win of the season. Go pack go! Oh, throw it up to Edwards. He's six six, but he's looks like Tarzan plays like Jane. Apparently, gotta get that. Show some aggressiveness. Let's go. Getting the gun here. Everyone's pretty much locked up. See if we can float that in front of Julio Jones. But, you know, he you know, he looks like Tarzan, plays like Tarzan. Makes a big time grab. See if we can just keep some balance. We're gonna bring it to you live. We'll give you one full drive here with the Green Bay Packers. If we can bounce it to the outside. Offensive line is stellar. Getting to the second level is Aaron Jones. Two rushes, 43 yards. Maybe need a little bit more of that. We'll go mesh spot. We'll get Dallas at the backfield. Julio Jones is in the slot. That's always a great matchup. And we'll go to it right there. The chemistry looked like they've been playing with each other for their whole careers. Jordan Love, Julio Jones, opening drive score. Okay. Man, I would love one of these guys to be able to get separation downfield. It's just constantly like big possession. I mean, that's what we have. I suppose we had an old Devonte Adams and old Julio Jones, and Edwards is 6'6", 240, and not Calvin Johnson 6'6", 240. We just don't have explosive plays, so we have to like nickel and dime New England Patriot our way down the field. So we're coming here now live at the tail end here, down seven in the third, trying to find some explosive plays. We got, hey, there we go. There's the most explosive play of the game. Red zone face mask. That's only going to be half the distance to the goal. We can't even maximize all 15 yards. But we'll accept it. I don't know. We'll go double cross. We got uh, Edwards there at the top. It's going to take him five seconds to get to the middle of the field with that 89 speed. He does not get any separation. But can we throw it to the big body? Yes, we can. For what we make, lack in speed, we make up in bully ball. And we tie this one up with his fifth touchdown catch of the season. Oh, Devontae Adams slants cheese. Putting us up into field goal range. We might be able to win this one as he goes over 1,000 yards. Are they going to let me score? They're not going to let me score? Okay, we'll... We'll bleed the clock down and, and kick a field goal. That's going to be the case. Get one more playoff here. See if we can get a touchdown because who cares, right? Let's try to win it with a in style. I don't, you know, 
We need our, we need that third win of the season, okay? So let's trot out our unnamed kicker for 23 yards. Looks pretty good. Right down the middle. There you go. That's Jordan Love for you. Just a nice grindy drive. Zero excitement. Not moving the needle. So there you have it. Five years in, we finished four and twelve, our worst record when our team's the best, and that is a fitting way to to end this episode, end this rebuild here. Um, I plan on doing the Tua Dolphins, and hopefully that goes better than the Eagle Hurts and the Packer Love. Again, pretty much consensus. Green Bay had a horrific draft from mock draft snobs like myself, Packer fans. And everything in between. Yet, I thought we did an okay job building up a team around Jordan Love, who's a very solid quarterback. He didn't feel too bad in that game. Um, and it just, it never worked out, man. It never, like, what did he finish this year? Statistically, you know, that's what he was. He's an average Madden quarterback. And will he be an average quarterback in real life? I know Packer fans are hoping not. Hopefully he's elite. Devontae Adams has been solid, was solid in this rebuild. Van Der Esch, Actually, well worth the money that we had to pay. Kenny Clark going up to a 99. We just, you know, it is what it is. It's just a weird rebuild. No matter what we did, we were either average or awful. That's exactly not what you want to see. So I did, yeah, I cast out of the bag. I will. I was planning because we've already done Herbert on the Chargers, right? We've already done, and everyone's done Joe Burrow on the Bengals. But I've yet to do Tua on the Dolphins. So we'll be back in a couple days, and we will do that. Tua on the Dolphins rebuild. There's going to be more pink slips. Obviously, we're going to be able to finish up Rip City sooner than later. That's going to be coming soon. I got some more. Let's kind of start talking about Madden 21 videos set to come over the next week or so. So hopefully, you guys, have been enjoying this content as we get ready to wrap up Madden 20. As always, if you want to support like the roster and stuff and you are on PC, make sure you guys hit up the Flashback Franchise Discord. You can get in uh, really easy through my Discord. And that will do it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button if you enjoyed. Until next time, it's C4 saying peace out.